It is seven o'clock in the morning on Gaul Face Green in Sri Lanka's capital, Colombo. Many people have spent the night here in tents. They are gathered here with a common purpose, to see the resignation of President Gotabaya Rajapaksha, who they believe has caused the current economic crisis that has sparked chaos throughout the country. About one month back, it was one what he was it is one hundred rupees. Now it has come to three hundred rupees. Can't you imagine about the situation? So we are we are we are not going to remove any poor person. We we want the pleasant, reasonable uh, reply from the government. Whatever it is, who is who is president, we don't care. Sri Lanka is a small tropical island country in the Indian Ocean. Despite recent events such as civil wars, tsunamis and acts of terrorism, the people here are positive and cheerful. Its beaches, sun, sea and low crime rates make it an attractive destination for Western tourists. But now, this country is mentioned in the world media for its shortages, crisis and protests. There is a shortage in fuel. The queues for fuel seem endlessly long. The Sri Lankan rupee has plummeted in value in recent months. The cost of living has become unaffordable. Protests have spread across the country, not only in Colombo, but also in smaller cities such as Gaul and Kandy. People can be seen protesting on the streets. He has all my money. He makes the building in another country, in Uganda, in Kuwait. They have money. They put it in the another bank. You don't know. They are having enjoying every day inside the AC rooms. We are here under the sun. We are ready here. The protest in Gaul Face Green in the capital of Colombo, where most of the parliament buildings are located, is a symbol of resistance. The police are not resorting to brute force or tear gas for the moment.
People from all over Sri Lanka are now gathered here to share their ideas through creative outlets. Unnamed sponsors, funded by donations through social media, have set up water points, phone charging stations and even pharmacies to give medicine and medical aid. This local business is supporting the demonstration by cooking and handing out free food to residents of what some are calling the Got To Go Village. People of all different religions, ethnicities and social classes can be seen among those who are protesting. From Buddhist monks to Christian nuns to fasting Muslims, employers to laborers. Demonstrators are continuing to protest, some saying that they will not stop until President Gotabaya Rajapaksha goes home. Twelve years ago, I asked the government to implement a stimulus fiscal planning in order to avert any financial crisis we face ahead. But uh, we didn't have any wise people governing this country. So today, they have declared this country as a bankrupt nation. So now that is why all the citizens have come to the streets demanding the corrupt regime to leave and in order to get all the monies, whatever they have taken from the state. It is not known where the future of Sri Lanka is headed. It is clear that the people of Sri Lanka are looking for a new, innovative government that is able to responsibly control the country's capital and creatively use the island's natural resources. For now, the protesters can only hope that the time for reformation is near.